so you need some running shoes and of course you head to ASICS for a purchase. However, either during or after your purchase, something occurs to you. You notice that on the midsole area of the shoe there are these black specks or dots. And now you're in shambles. Oh my god, are these defective? Are these still quality runners? Is it just a problem with the coloring? What's good YouTube? Today we are going to discuss those specs on the midsole of your ASICs and talk about whether or not they are a defect. Let's do it. So first of all, I want to give a big shout out to Spare77Clash for reminding me about this issue. They recently provided one of the following comments on my Gel Canal 26 video and I am going to read it to you. Okay, so Spare says, Hi Jordan, gotta say, you basically answered my question without me asking it. In your third part you held up the shoe and I saw all these little back speckled spots. I just purchased a pair of GT1000 and have the same speckles on the inside of my recent purchase. My OCD convinced me it's a defect. The shop assistant convinced me that it's deliberate by showing me a single pair on the display stand. I'm tempted to take them back but seeing them on the pair you held up, I wonder if you can tell me why they're there and do they have a purpose. Should I be put off or start running? Sorry if this is known to the season A6 buyer. It's my first pair. So Spare left this comment on my video for the Gel Camo 26 and this is the shoe that they're talking about. So as you can see on the inner component of the Gel Camo 26, I have these black speckled dots here and there. So what does this mean, these black speckled spots on the inside of your A6 shoe? Simply put, it means nothing. You can continue running all as well. These black spots that you see on the inside of my Gel Keanu 26 and even the Clash, they had it on their GT1000. These are a design choice by ASICS. Not all of the shoes have them, but some of them do. Some people don't notice it at all. Some people notice it and it drives them crazy. Some people notice it and they don't really care for it. Rest assured, I have the black specs on the inside of my Gel Keanu 26. I've used these, I've tested these, and all has been well. No defects, no problems whatsoever. Now I know what you're thinking. Jordan, you just have one shoe to prove this though. We need a little bit more evidence. No problem, I got you covered. Let's take a look at some stock images and some images from the ASICS website today. So here is a stock image of a GT1006. This is a woman's GT1000 from three years ago. And as you can see on that medial inner side of the shoe, on the midsole component, you see those black specks once again. Okay, okay everybody, so we are live right here. We are on the A6 Canada website as you can tell, that's because I am based in Toronto. So here is a photo, all right, live of the men's GT1009, okay? You see the photo of the shoe right here, it looks perfectly fine, but if we go and we look at the medial component of the shoe, the inner component of the shoe, what do we see right there? Once again, those black spots, all right, on the inner component, all right? These are in the promotional images of the GT1000. So if they are being included in those promotional images, all right, it is evidently something that comes as a part of the shoe and it's not something for you to worry about. It's not a defect. You do not have to worry at all. And there you have it, everybody. Thank you for watching, all right? If you enjoyed this video, you found it useful, please give it a big thumbs up and give it a subscribe as it helps me out a huge ton. I would be super appreciative. Down in the comments, let me know, are you a fan of this kind of speckled spot design? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Have you just never noticed it before? Have you noticed it but don't care? Let me know in the comments. And with all that being said, I hope you all are staying safe. I hope you all are staying healthy and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace out, deuces, later.